back at y'all with some more boxing news and updates. You already know this your boy, love one that hate one. Let's go ahead and talk about this real quick. Now I got some real interesting news for my boxing fans out there. We got some stuff we gotta talk about when it comes down to this fight between Roly Romero and Ryan Garcia. A fight that I am highly interested in. Now we all know that Roly just got a world title at 140 in a controversial fight. It is what it is. He still won. And Ryan Garcia has been commenting on what he feel about that fight ever since it happened. Because we all know Roly called him out. Ryan Garcia and his team definitely heard of the call out. And they even said that Ryan Garcia don't need a tune up for Roly Romero. Now I'm going to get deep. When it comes down to what I feel about Do Ryan Garcia need a tune up or not Because I'm kind of on both sides When it comes down to that answer But let's talk about the fight for a minute Number one, it's still a good fight Especially if Ryan Garcia Do not take a tune up Because it's like Roley basically lost his last fight A lot of people can say in a sense R was controversial And then you got Ryan Garcia who got stopped and many people feel like Roley is not on Ryan's level. So it kind of goes hand in hand. You know what I'm saying? But let's discuss the reason why I feel like Ryan Garcia should take a tune-up for Roley Romero. Then I'm going to let you know some of the reasons why I don't feel he should take a tune-up for Roley Romero. One of the main reasons I think he should is because, I mean... Roley Romero, he's not the best opponent out there, but we still have to respect the fact he's still a champion at 140. He's still got some punching power. And even though it was a long time ago, a lot of people feel like Roley dominated Ryan Garcia and sparring. So for those reasons alone, this guy has experience with you. You're coming off a loss. You should just take a tune-up ASAP though if you take a tune-up I mean within the next six weeks and this goes into the reasons why I feel like he shouldn't take a tune-up because Roley is food at 140 right now Roley can have some problems man I even think Robert Easter Jr. might get Roley Sandra Martin will beat Roley shit from what I seen last night, Mikey Garcia may come back out of retirement to get that belt at 140. Plus, it's still a big fight. I mean, it's still Roley. He knows how to sell a fight. He's with Mayweather, etc. So if Ryan Garcia don't hurry up to get Roley, then one of these other guys may be him. Unless Mayweather tries to hold him out till he gets Ryan. So Ryan might just want to hop on that train fast, like. Hop on that Roly train and go get it. Another thing is, too, that's a perfect way to get into the right direction. If you beat Roly, you're a champion. You beat a guy that you, it's sort of revenge in a sense, right? And it's like you have a belt at 140. Then you can call out the Josh Taylors, the Teofimo Lopez, the Regis Progress. Those are the fights that you want if you even want to think or dream about a tank fight again. But the more I think about it, even though I'm pretty much on both sides of the spectrum, I do feel like Ryan Garcia should take a match ASAP with Roley. The matchup is already sold. Roley already called you out. Mayweather already know that's a big fight. I'm quite sure... That Mayweather just wants to cash out with Roley at this point. So set it up. Ryan Garcia versus Roley Romero at 140 pounds. Still a massive fight in my opinion. And Mayweather can cash out. That's my thoughts on this shit. I am out.